Hi, I'm Jake Smythe. I'm Kenny Graham. And we're the new owners of the Lansdowne Hotel. And that's where we are. We right. might sneakily <laughs> open the doors in May at some point just for the pub and stuff, but yeah. Live music. Keep live an stuff. eye on the lights. Keep an Gin. eye on the lights. And as soon as there's a couple of lights on past 1am, then you'll know we're here. I think the venue is... 1933? Yeah, first opened, served first drinks in 1933. This, this incarnation of, of it, it was maybe around before that or something else perhaps, but um, yeah, so it's it ran about for 90 years as a very famous and grungy live music venue. Then it got shut down by a, I don't know, some sh shitty hotel group bought it. And, uh... <laughs> no, we're here again, and the Lansdowne's gonna have live music in it again. But we feel like, we know that Sydney's crying out for more live music spaces, especially of this size. You know, we're not in competition with Airmores and the metros of the world, or even the Oxford Art Factories, which play such an important part in our nightlife of Sydney. But there is a desperate need for that middle-sized room, which is 200 people, yeah. you know, so the young bands from Sydney, overseas, in the state, can actually come and perform charge some money on the door, make some dollars for themselves, prove that they're, an, they're a band that people want to go see, and a decent amount of people, um, before, so they don't have to make that jump from And playing. as far as like the, um, Down the road. like the revamping it all, like a lot of this works is purely DA related, like fireproof and stuff. We don't, we don't want to turn it into some like brand spanking new thing. It's it's revamp's like a really, it's a loose term for what we're doing. We have to fucking renovate it and then we're gonna make it shit again <laughs> over time and hopefully other people will make it really shit with us. Um, but in its shitness, it was great. It, was, it wasn't shit, it's was humble. And you know, and it was grungy and grimy and that's who we are. And that's what we hope it'll be, um, yeah. you know, pretty soon after we open. He's around somewhere. Matt Rule is scoping around, <laughs> skulking around here. Matt and Dan, Dan Rule, who used to be the proprietors of the um, Annandale Hotel, uh, just down the road here, you know, brother, sister pubs really. Um, and we're fucking honoured that they're coming on to book the, book the shows. Yeah. There's a history there that, you know, Sydney needs. Um, and we wouldn't, we don't know the first thing about booking shows. You know, they've had to throw parties. And, um, you know, it's, it's about getting the right team together. So we're really excited that they're on board. There's two smoking like areas. Tell you what else isn't new. The ten dollar meals will be good. <laughs> yeah. That'll be new. That's the new thing. The ten dollar meals are coming back, which is going to be fucking harrays around Sydney from every uni student within like walking distance of this pub. I'm sure, but they'll actually fucking taste good, and you might want to come here even if you've got more than ten dollars in your pocket. So we'll have some like uh, Aussie beers, probably a couple of American beers, natural wine list. Probably a couple of cocktails, but like nothing fancy. Like very simple, and but yeah. that will be good. You're not going to order a margarita here and walk away going, "That was a fucking shit move." Yeah. Like it's you're going to you'll order a margarita and you'll go, "That was fucking delicious." What I sign up for? Yeah, more? this place is built for good times. It'd be good time drinks. We're going to be doing you know some pizza, a couple of burgers, uh, simple pub food. But you know, like we've we've uh, built a little reputation for ourselves for being able to kind of produce something that's tasty, and we're going to. So hopefully not fuck that reputation up. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere in between, <laughs> somewhere in between the unicorn and Mary's via Korea or Indonesia or something like. Sound like fucking one of those <laughs> wankers. Time I think up in 1933, yeah, yeah, exactly. like post uh, post Parisian bombing bar. <laughs> uh, we're just fucking excited uh, the, to be here. We're really fucking over the moon, and we feel like it's such a positive moment in, in Sydney's nightlife, to be honest, and it's not about, uh, certainly not about Kenny and I being here, um, it's about the whole story, it's about the actual health, the historicity of this pub, like what it is, what it means historically to Sydney, the fact that Matt and Dan are booking the shows here, um, the fact that we know how to cook a little bit and we know how to throw a party, and that's, that's a big story, and the fact that, you know, Sydney's copped a hiding from the lockout laws, um, to just really unsupportive councils and uh, you know yeah, that things are changing and we're a part of it and we're really excited. We've sent it to a few people like there's a lot of aspects coming together to give a really positive energy. Yeah. Like it's no longer the kind of you know people are not balking at the idea of a live music venue opening up as in how, how many people is going to piss off like yeah. I think it's going to be celebrated.